There is a level of elder abuse going on with Joe Biden and the folks that are surrounding him that is far more breathtakingly disgusting than anyone has alleged. What's really going on here is far more devious, far more sinister than anyone could have possibly imagined. I thought it was very strange, this period of silence, virtual silence from the vice president on any of this, and then it dawned on me what was really happening. And it's actually tied to what has been going on here on YouTube for quite a long time. Putting the two together, once you saw it, was absolutely the easiest thing to do ever. This is about money. This isn't about Joe Biden's ability or lack of ability. This isn't about Kamala Harris's likability or her ability. This is about what is going to sell the most ads. What is going to keep the people tuned in to the, for the next three to four years, waiting for that moment when Joe Biden messes up again? That's what's going to keep people tuned in. They're keeping this guy in power because they know there are all sorts of camera, paparazzi-like cameras and vultures just waiting for this guy to have another moment like he did in the debate and then play it over and over again so that they keep their audience tuned in so that they can charge incredibly high ad rates. Now, I've got even more proof for this. Stay, stay tuned. You're going to love this. By the way, it's really about capitalism versus socialism. See, socialism would say we need to do what's best for the country regardless of what makes, well, anyone the most money, right? But what does capitalism say? Nah, nope, sorry. It's all about the money. Do whatever makes the most money. Rising tide lifts all boats, right? Well, just wait. Oh, and also, you'd have to have been living under a rock to not have uh, known or seen who is this young woman all the way to the left and why she is so popular. And it's tied to this as well. Now, almost three minutes in, I'm sure a lot of you are like, this is going to be a tough video, Mucky. I don't know how you're going to tie capitalism, socialism, the thing with Biden, and then this... I guess what they're calling her the hawk to a girl in, but once I show it to you, it'll make perfect sense. It'll show you everything you need to know about the country we live in and at large, the world we live in, but it's battlefield of the mind. It's not something that is readily apparent to those who are emotionally driven by the winds of whatever social media or MSM dynamic happens to be blowing at the moment. Battlefield of the mind is an anchor. Battlefield of the mind is also a harbor. See, there's a reason that I have a Patreon channel. It's a lot of people have made the allegation that I'm trying to soak people. It's actually the opposite. It's actually quite the opposite. You see, People who don't have Patreon channels are trying to make as much money as they can on YouTube, meaning they're going to tell you what you want to hear to get the maximum amount of audience possible to sell the ads at the highest rate. They're not going to tell the truth. They're going to tell you what you want to hear so that they get the largest amount of audience tuned in so that they can charge the highest ad rate. Those of us with Patreon channels, however, are going to tell you the truth on YouTube because we don't care about the monetization on YouTube. For those who want the unvarnished truth, the things that YouTube doesn't allow us to show, just like we did a long time ago, way back in the 70s and 80s, we put that kind of stuff behind a small paywall. And it's not, in my case, pay-per-view. It's $1 per month. Even back in the 80s, cable was more expensive than that even less if you sign up for an entire year, and fully refundable, unlike cable, then or now. 
would love to would absolutely love to have you there. Now, how many of you are familiar with this paradigm? All of the different things on your phone, paying attention to every little thing you do. And believe me, if you're here and you watch the Florida Maquis, don't tell me that you've got some kind of VPN or don't tell me that your phone doesn't do it. You trust me. If you're here and you're watching this video, your phone does it. So it knows what you're tuning into. And it knows for a fact that you are a hundred times more likely to watch some clip of this elderly man in some state of dementia doing something embarrassing. You are far more likely to watch that and an ad associated with that than you would ever be to watch Kamala Harris say or do anything. And this, this is actually what has Trump scratching his head because, you see, he has access to these analytic numbers. And all of a sudden, there is something out there more popular than Trump on social media. Do you know what's more popular than Trump on social media now? Joe Biden screwing up. Joe Biden screwing up. A lot more people are like, oh, did you see when Biden did this? Or did you see when Biden did that? Or this clip of Biden or that clip of Biden? Money, 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 money. That's all it's about. And oh, by the way, those of you who have taken issue with my Patreon channel being what you have alleged to be is quote unquote pornographic. Simple nudity is not pornographic. However, the fame of this quote unquote hawk to a girl is by definition virtually the exact description of what pornography is, the description of sexual acts. See, nudity by itself is not a description of sexual acts. What this girl did in five or ten seconds was an exact description of a pornographic act, a sexual act, and now she's going to be a millionaire. And she's never really, she doesn't even have an OnlyFans channel. She was wearing all black and completely covered up and just made one offhand comment, likely under the influence of some beverage, I'm guessing. Instant Millionaire, this guy, this anonymous ID wrote this, and I thought it was absolutely perfect to share. Say, quote unquote, hawk to a on a five second video and become an instant millionaire. Work your entire life away for 40, 50, sometimes more hours a week, only to die in poverty in America. Quote, here are all the, the capitalists. The market is the most efficient and effective system for getting resources where they need to go. It might be comical if it wasn't so sad. You see, the reason this girl's making a bunch of money and there's a bunch of networks making a bunch of money is because she's acting and talking pornographic. And this is just another version of just, it's basically elder abuse porn. It's elder abuse porn. Because they show it and they talk about it over and over and over and over and over again. And everybody tunes in. Everybody tunes in. See, here's a, str a strange thing. And I would like, this is a challenge to my audience. Those of you who disagree with me, those of you who think I'm crazy. Who remembers all of the pictures? All of the pictures from back in the 20s and 30s, the Depression era, when people were so poor. And you saw all these guys walking around, they got their dark hats on, the signs unemployed, will take any job, desperate, will do. Funny you never saw any women with those signs. Funny that at that time, and please, here's my challenge. Find for me a black and white sign from picture, some type of an image from back during the 20s and 30s where you saw a woman holding a sign that said unemployed will take any job. And yes, for those of you who are detracting, yes, women had jobs. Women worked back then. And besides, at that level of desperation, even if a woman hadn't classically worked, you would think at this time you could still employ children. Any job for anyone. Why is it always only men taking, quote unquote, any job? This is what's bothering Donald Trump right now. Right now, there is something out there selling more ad rate, doing better, far more popular, than anything he does or says. You see, it used to be him controlling the news cycle. Everything he did, everything he said, every rally. 
Even those that didn't like him would cover it. Those who, of course, supported him would cover it. And he was the biggest, the biggest sell, the biggest draw. Well, guess what? He has been supplanted. He has been su supplanted by what? Elder abuse. People cannot wait. They cannot wait to sink their teeth. In. Biden is going to have a news conference. Do you know how many people are going to tune in to the news conference? The press conference that is scheduled, I think, for Thursday with Joe Biden. And do you know how rough those reporters are going to be? Not because they give a damn about the good of the country or trying to assess his ability to lead. They want to get him. They want to get him again. They, they want to see him lose his mind again and, and, and wander off stage. Or oh my goodness, are you going to, it's going to be millions and millions and millions of views on all social media everywhere. And believe me, people are just lining up to be the first one to drop that elder abuse video. Why? Capitalism. Capitalism. You see, it was always strange to me with the YouTube channel. All of the people who would decry my channel for saying, you shouldn't say anything positive about socialism. You shouldn't say anything po anything but glowing praise for capitalism because it's the greatest thing ever and all this funny. This is capitalism. You think they're, they're doing all this? They put all that tracking in there because they just really give a damn? No. They want to find out what you'll watch so that they can show you ads and they can make a whole bunch of money off of charging the people who are selling the items. And this was just subtle pornography. It was subtle. And those are like, well, this is why Trump is trying to make America buried again. So we don't have... Really? Would you say America was great again back in, uh, say, 19... Let's say, 86? There's a little-known fact about Top Gun, the original Top Gun that I think would probably disturb a lot of people. You see, there was a very infamous, very sultry sex scene. Didn't last very long. It was actually later in the movie that everyone remembered between Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis. Well, what if I told you that the original movie had been finished and completely done for months and they put the movie before focus groups? And the focus group said, you know what? That there's no sex scene in it. There's 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 no intimate moment between Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis. And it was unanimous that the movie was going to be a complete flop without this sex scene. And you can look this up. This is true. So the creators of the movie, the producers of the movie called Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis back five months later before the release of the movie and had them shoot that sex scene. It wasn't going to be in the original movie. Now imagine everything you remember about Top Gun. Every, all of the different action scenes, the, the guys oiled up at the beach, all the girls remember that, you know. Every, all of the different things, you know, when, when Goose, you know, punched out of the canopy and um, this the karaoke scene in the bar and everybody you know people are like oh yeah and then there was that one scene at the end didn't get added till five months later didn't make or break the movie but it'll tell you a lot about the thinking of people at the time about what they wanted to see when they went to public theaters top gun wasn't pay-per-view i don't even think it was rated r but the strange thing is now the strange thing is now that if you were to create a YouTube video, just basically created with AI around that that uh, that scene, it would get demonetized. It would get immediately demonetized and probably you know set into a a different status so that no one under eighteen could see it. I've talked about this too. This was a this is basically a, a show created by Seth MacFarlane. It's from uh, the Orville. It's a comedy version of Star Trek aimed largely at young kids where there is nothing but hypersexual innuendo. Even a picture like this is probably risking this video getting demonetized because it's implied. 
because it's just implied. And I've had people report my videos for saying that I'm showing all sorts of uh, things that are, are sexual and inappropriate and all this kind of stuff, and they have been demonetized for it. So those of you who are wondering, those of you who are wondering about Antarctica, I didn't realize so many of my Antarctica fans were devout socialists. Anybody can go look at the most recent videos I've done on Antarctica going back six, seven, eight months at least. Look at those view numbers versus the view numbers when I talk about elder abuse of a man that most people don't even like. Even before. Even before any of this, he was president or are there any clips out there? They didn't like the guy, but boy, I tell you what, they tune in now. They tune in now because it's basically like the train wreck that people get out of there. They won't get out of their chairs, put their popcorn and beer down for anything. But boy, I tell you what, there's a train wreck on the other side of town. They'll go do that. They'll rubberneck. They'll slow down traffic for miles to see if they can catch a glimpse of some gore at some highway accident. That's what this is. Congratulations, capitalists. Because it's now all about money. And they, you mark my words, Donald Trump is right. Donald Trump was right when he said that, uh, you know, Biden's going to continue. Biden's, they're going to keep Biden in because there's so much money in it for him. And Biden has bragged about being a capitalist. Very ironically, you can look that up too. There's video clips of it. People have, you know, it's, it's not an allegation that the man's a capitalist. The man brags about being a capitalist, not a socialist, to the chagrin of a lot of his supporters. And about making money, well, guess what? They are going to make a whole bunch of money off of his people around him that should care about him, that should remove him just because it's the right moral thing to do. They won't. They won't because there's too much money in it. There's there's too much money in it, just, just like this. Just like a fully clothed girl. I've made this allegation for so long and people say, you're crazy. Nudity is pornography. Nudity is pornography. No, it's not. Pornography is pornography. People talking about sex or referring to sex. In this particular case, it's not even a sexual act that would result in a baby. What she's talking about. It's just gratuitous. I don't care whether she's wearing clothes or not. This is pornography. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to find this on your kid's phone, would you? You wouldn't want to find references to this. You wouldn't, would you? But just, you know, a random picture of, of somebody skinny dipping? You're going to compare just a random picture of somebody skinny dipping to what this girl has done? Battlefield of the mind. Battlefield of the mind. It's about understanding the truth, regardless of what they tell you it is. Think about it clearly. Think about it logically. Once again, find me the picture. Find me the picture of any... In fact, I'll even extend the challenge. I'll even extend the challenge. It doesn't even have to be a black or white picture. It can be any picture, anywhere of any woman with a sign around her neck saying, unemployed, will do anything for money, will take anything for... See, they don't have to ask, do they? See, Trump's Trump's bugged. Trump's bothered. Because finally something has supplanted him as the big moneymaker in media. See, it used to be him... You used to be, oh man, what's Trump going to say? What's Trump going to tweet? Boy, who's he going to embarrass now? Who's he going to mess with now? This is going to be great. This is going to be great. I'm going to pop some popcorn, man. Well, guess what? There's something even more sick, more vile, more disgusting than what he used to do, making fun of people. There's a man out there now who should have family, who, is, who would have long ago intervened would have long ago intervened and stopped this, but they won't because of money. Some might say Jill Biden powered me. Eh. This is about a uh, train wreck that people just can't help but watch, and it's being fomented and fostered by capitalist forces. 
Congratulations. Welcome to our new capitalist world, our new mammon-worshipping world. For the rest of you, love to have you Patreon. God bless. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.